Good morning, everyone. Hey. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to another episode of That Christian Vlogger, where you get to join me and my family and experience faith in the first person. Today, we are going to New York right now. We're actually in Hoboken, which is in New Jersey. My stepmom wants to see a very famous bakery. Okay, so why are we here? <laughs> <laughs> She's taking <laughs> selfies. <laughs> Here, take a picture of me. Okay, let's go. Sorry, my hands are freezing. That's what I know it's cold today, right? <laughs> but very good. <laughs> my family just loves sweets. <laughs> Look at them. Look at them. It's like kids in a candy shop. You guys go for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. There you go. Stock up. What'd you get there? Apple that, turnover. That thing's like the size of your head. And. Uh oh. We got some cannolis. They're famous for their cannolis. Officially made it into New York. We just checked in, and now we're gonna go eat. We're gonna ride a taxi for the first time. Can you help us grab a taxi? Do we ask you for a taxi? Thank you. Now this might sound silly to some of you guys, but none of us have actually ever ridden a taxi before. Coming from California, it's like not really a thing. And so, we're in a taxi. Right now we are at Xi'an's Famous Food. It's like a really famous Chinese restaurant in uh, New York that has like really, really authentic Chinese food. I'm actually kind of scared because I don't know if I'm quite ready for this level of Chinese food yet. Mm. These noodles are some of the best noodles I've ever had, but the mild spicy. Dad, what do you think about this Chinese food? Oh my god, that's pretty damn good. I'm hot. Yeah. The food was so hot. We're like We're sweating. I'm sweating <laughs> and my coughing. But it was amazing. It's cold and hot at the same time. <laughs> We're all still sweating from the food, but it's still freezing out here. Now one primary thing that New York is known for is being known for as a city that never sleeps. There's always something happening in New York and actually it's really cool because um, while New York maybe take it to a little excess or maybe a lot of excess, the Bible actually does talk about this mindset of go, go, go and getting work done. Am I going to be on TV? Yes, Chinese TV. Oh, hold on. I gotta get this. Hey, I'm on Chinese TV right now. <laughs> See, look, there's a the camera. Okay, so they're wanting me to put a sticker on the best person. The best, oh, okay. Get closer here. Let's see. Uh, I'm gonna go with this one right here. <laughs> okay, let's go down. How about you? Can you put the sticker on it? Oh, can I do it on the same one? Yeah, sure. If you were single, which one do you want to date? <laughs> oh, you should date her. <laughs> I want to share with you guys is found in Proverbs 26 verse 14 and it's actually kind of a funny verse and this is what it says it says as the door turns on its hinges so does a sluggard on its bed and it's this imagery of the door going back and forth back and forth and someone just rolling over on their bed over and over and over and over again I love this verse because it stands in direct contrast to the entire New York mindset where you get up and you grind hour after hour you just chug coffee which is ironically where we're at right now but you never stop you never give up the Bible actually talks about how it's important for you to get up and put your hand to work probably not to the extent that New Yorkers do it but it is important to work hard 
We are trying to see if we can make it into the Empire State Building right now. Looking for the entrance and then hopefully we can catch the sunset from up there. Got our tickets to the Empire State Building. We're gonna take the elevator all the way up and check out the city. Now the Bible talks a lot about the importance of a good work ethic and putting your hand to do the very best that you can. Not as a means of salvation or saving yourself or earning favor with God, but just as a good, important life skill and discipline to have. For, for example, did you know that the Bible says that if a man doesn't provide for his family, he's worse than an infidel and shouldn't eat? <laughs> How was that? That was good. It was cool. That was probably the most beautiful a city has ever looked to me. Like, that was great. It's so beautiful. You like the city? Emily yeah. wants to move to New York now. <laughs> it's these newbies' first time on the subway. <laughs> Braving our way to the subway. Hopefully we don't get lost, but at least we'll be warm. We've been in the subway for all of zero rides and we're already lost. Turns out we were on the wrong train, so we're gonna go over there and try and find the right one. I take that back. I think we actually were on the right track. So we're gonna go back into the subway, same one we just left, and try it this time. So the last time Emily and I were on a subway here in New York, we were getting off the subway and Emily accidentally drops her phone in between the crack between the subway and the platform. So when the subway leaves, I have to jump down into the tracks, grab the phone, and jump back up onto the platform. Kind of an intense experience, so hold on to your cell phones. Yep, our greatest fears were right. That was the wrong train. <laughs> Take three. Third time is the charm, we finally made it onto the right train. Now we still gotta find our hotel. We are like frozen solid. Yeah. After getting lost like 10 different times, we're finally back at the hotel. Thank you, Justin. <laughs> so even though we did make it back to the hotel, back to our rooms, we decided right when we got here that it'd be good to go out and make sure we get some waters instead of paying the $7 water bottle fee at this stupid hotel. Back out into the cold. So, right. what are your thoughts? First time in New York? First time in a city like this busy, what do you think? Well, for one, the traffic is really not as bad as I anticipated. Well, you're not driving. Well, even then, just the walking part, uh, you gotta dodge cars a little bit, play a little frogger. But, uh, <laughs> frogger. <laughs> but overall, it's not that bad. Way too much concrete for me. A lot of concrete, a lot of, Way I can understand why they like carve out that park in the middle of it all. Which hopefully tomorrow we'll be able to go to the park. But still impressive. Yeah, really Very nice. Impressive. Favorite part of today? Oh, of course, Empire. Yeah. Empire State. That was great. The view, whew, yeah. just awesome. Got the water. 
Uh, officially checking in for the night. I hope you guys enjoyed our trip to New York. We had a blast, got to see a ton. We're excited about tomorrow. Tomorrow we're gonna try and hit up uh, Central Park and do some more sightseeing, maybe grab some awesome food as well. But before we close for tonight, I just wanna encourage you, whatever God has placed in front of you, don't be like the sluggard, tossing and turning on your bed, not really putting your best effort forward. Give God your all, bloom where you're planted, and see what he's gonna do through you. We'll see you guys next time. Good night, and God bless.